What up, folks? Welcome to the Ultra Z News. Got a lot of news to talk about. A lot of news has dropped since my last one, which I feel like was just yesterday, but it really wasn't. It was a little over a week ago already that I did one of these. It's just that the week has been all messed up for me. Check out my channel update in my last video for all that. Let's get into the news. We're going to start off with some Transformers news. And Hasbro has introduced the bot bots. Uh, this is a Shopkin styled little one inch or so little mini bots. It's cute. It's something for the kids and I love it. I really do. Um, it's got such a nice little style and they transform guys so you guys that want to get it uh, adult collectors you can and have some fun with it. I'm gonna get it for Ultrazilla Jr. And we'll probably have some some fun with them on the channel here but lots of cool cool stuff they're gonna be available in both little blind uh, boxes as well as like carded figures in five packs and eight packs uh, and there is a mystery pack in those as well so that's pretty cool so you get a bunch that you'll see and then you get a little mystery I, I really like it there's so many cool ones I like the pizza one I like the ice cream ones and the I don't know if it's hot chocolate or coffee, but it's probably hot chocolate. It's for kids. Um, so, very, very cool stuff there. That was a cute reveal. We had heard that they, about this bot, bots, like, li not license, but like branding, and nobody knew exactly what it was going to be. Now we know, and it's pretty cool. All right, moving to Tamashi Nations, and uh, we got some super robot reveal here. It's not really a reveal. It's like an announcement was made that there's going to be a Tamashi Mix X, you know, versus, or whatever, <laughs> times uh, Chogo Kin line, uh, done by Italian artist, designed by Italian artist Emiliano Santalucia. That, Santa Lucia, my apologies Emiliano, I know I'm Italian too, I just, I'm like looking at my thing, uh, my screen from far away here. Um, for all the details, it's gonna be called Dynamic Fusion, and, uh, this is cool, this is like, one of the first times that I can remember that someone outside of Japan is designing one of these things, uh, they're gonna design Mazinger Z and Jig amongst others. Uh, redesign. It's going to be fresh designs. It's going to be something different. If you've seen Emiliano's stuff, he's done some incredible robot work with like Transformers and stuff. Um, done like some amazing like tech drawings of like I want to say Fort Max was one of them. Some of the big guys. Um, looks astounding. You could also have seen. You may have seen his work on various Masters of the Universe. Uh, items so pretty cool get and I think this is incredible because for me personally besides Voltron like my influence of like super robots and the reason why I fell in love with them was because the Italian love for them when I went to Italy in 1986 as a kid, I uh, watched Super Robot shows nonstop because they were playing them so much. I discovered so many shows, so many robots at that time. A lot of the Italian versions of the theme songs are the theme songs that I hear in my head when I think of some of these robots. So for an Italian artist to do this, it's very fitting. I know a lot of purists, poo poo on and stuff like this or, and about this, but really get educated about the Italian uh, love and influence on the super robot genre. It is huge uh, and um, much deserved for one of their own to be able to do this. So congrats to Emiliano. I'm really, really looking forward to this line. We will be getting actual product reveals at both the Tamashi Nation event and the Luca Comic Festival coming up shortly in the next like week or so. All right, let's talk, uh, turn our attention to a kaiju that I picked up recently and that's Titanic Creations Titanicus. They're going back to the factory to do a uh, a uh, glow-in-the-dark version of their small figure and uh, you're gonna be able to get it in blue or purple and that's pretty cool 
Um, I don't think I'm getting it personally, but I think that's pretty cool if you guys like little variants like that. You know, that's something to get. So, there you go. Let's move on to Mothex, and they had their first reveal for their new MCU line. How about that? Um, and it's gonna be Black Panther, and it looks really good, guys. It looks very, very good. I'm really impressed with this. Uh, probably, again, something I'm not getting. I'm sticking to Marvel Legends from my MCU stuff, but I thought it was cool looking and definitely worth your time to check out. Another thing I'm not going to get, but I thought it was pretty cool, uh, Mafex is re-releasing a couple of 2001 Space Odyssey astronauts, uh, the, the red and yellow one, and they're adding a green and blue variant, so for any fans of that, there you go. Next, Astrobots. Uh, I haven't heard from them in a little bit, and I was curious if they were going to do more stuff, and they are! They're doing two female bots. They're doing one called Athena and one called Artemis, and both look very cool, very cool indeed. Uh, and there is going to be a new, like, newly decoed one um, of uh, Apollo, where he also has a cloak. Awesome. I'm, I'm pretty much down on with all three of these. The Apollo one looks kind of more like the uh, Argus colors uh, with a cloak. I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, um, actually it's not. I'm looking at it again. You got it's it's the colors are a little bit different, but the cloak looks cool. I don't know if I'll get it if it's just a cloak. <laughs> I'll have to investigate further on that. But very cool to see that. Moving on to uh, Evolution Toys uh, Hero Action Figure line. We talked about this last time. I'm gonna talk about it again because they they dropped another pre-order and this is for the silver. Common Giant. Not a Tokusatu hero that I'm hugely familiar with, but it looks really nice. Uh, I know I've been down on this line, uh, and I'm not gonna probably get this one because I don't know the character. But I gotta say, it looks very, very good. And I said it last time, but uh, you know, Evolution Toy, if you're checking this out and you want to send one my way, I'm here to review it for you guys. <laughs> So, yeah, speaking of Tokusatsu heroes, we had, um, now these were two Gridman, SSSS Gridman, um, you know, figures that we already know about, the DX Active Builder one and the DX uh, Good Smile one. Now, both of these, um, the initial pre-orders just featured, you know, the different, you know, vehicles that they come with. But they didn't really show them combining. Um, and now I know why, because they were waiting for it to happen on the show, not to reveal it. So, finally done uh, one of the reveals, and it looks awesome, and this is like, it becomes a Max Gridman. Both look really good, the Good Smile one looks really good, that's the one I personally have on pre-order as a DX set. I'm looking forward to what more to do, the Gridman show is fantastic if you have not seen it on Crunchyroll, I highly recommend it. I've seen two episodes so far, um, and I look forward to seeing more. Speaking of Gridman and stuff I want to see more of, and Good Smile Company, under their Figma line, which we, you know, like, love, uh, or don't, I don't know, I'm always up and down with Figma, um, but they're doing a Gridman under the Figma line, and wow, does this look amazing. Now, this is the prototype. Uh, and it is bigger right now. It's most likely going to be smaller than this. I don't... I, Figmas are usually smaller, so... Uh, we'll see how big it ends up being. But right now, it looks amazing. And the sword is ginormous. And I can't wait to see, you know, more of this prototype, colored versions and whatnot. So, pretty, pretty awesome. Let's change gears completely. Funko finally uh, revealed the second wave of Disney Afternoon figures. I cannot wait. These are now on pre-order uh, at your favorite pre-order shop. Um, we got a bunch of them. We got uh, the ones I really care about are Gizmo and um, Launchpad McQuack. So, uh, and then we got... Man, I forgot the names of these guys. <laughs> 
Um, do, 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 do. Big Bad Toy Store, where are you? Actually, I don't have it here in my notes. Let's see, here we go. Disney Afternoon Collection. Who are- Louie! Oh my god, from uh, Tailspin. And Gadget from Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. Man, I used to love all these shows, and I, I feel bad that I forgot the, the names of these two characters right away. Um, but they all are good, and I really like the first wave, so I'm definitely gonna get this wave as well, despite not knowing the names of those two characters off the top of my head right now. So, very, very cool. I'm gonna end it like I started, and I am super surprised that I got through this as quick as I did. Uh, I was talking pretty fast. Because uh, there's a lot of little subjects I wanted to cover here. Um, so we're gonna talk about Transformers, but this time some oversized KO Transformers of the Studio Series Grimlock. Uh, Black Mamba are doing an OS one that's gonna be 38 centimeters tall. That equals out to about 14 inches tall. That's gonna be a big Grimlock, guys. Very big, very exciting. Uh, it's uh, I saw a pre-order up on TF Direct for 90 bucks, 89.99, free shipping. Um, you'll probably be able to find it, maybe cheaper with shipping or whatever depending on where you look if you look on eBay or toys wherever your you get your uh, KO transformers from you're gonna find it it looks amazing of course uh, the the Grimlock itself is awesome but it looks like it has some art articulated hands or something um, I'll have to see how what else they have before I commit to that but I've had I got a black mama uh, piece before and it was a couple times and they've both been really good so Maybe. Alright guys, and that's it. That is my uh, Ultra Z news for this week. And I hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts on any of this stuff. And until next time, peace out.